Hey guys, uh, AKA back on the mic. Uh, so right now it's looking like we have uh, SK against Dan's the man here. Uh, this was actually one of the upsets of the night. Uh, Dan actually ended up beating uh, Lycan, who's actually our second on the power ranking. So uh, like I said, uh, lots of upsets tonight. Uh, I managed to win my losers match. Um, I'm here, but we'll see for how long. So Dan's made it pretty far up there. I believe this is still winners. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty standard stuff. Falcon, Fox, uh, they're going to go to Battlefield and uh, let's get it underway. Okay, so Dan maintaining a bit of stage control here, staying in the middle. Um, for Falcon here, the thing he, he really wants to do is he wants to be able to utilize his jab and his dash attacks and his grab to keep Fox um, in the air as much as possible. Fox is pretty pretty good in the, on the ground and a uh, good forward smash there. Uh, meanwhile, uh, in the same sense, uh, Kyle here, he wants to he wants to be able to juggle Falcon as much as possible with those up tilts. Falcon is incredibly heavy. He's a fast faller, um, and uh, he's going to be able to get his damage there. Uh, but it looks like Dan's making an, an incredible amount of reads here. He's already got uh, SK up to uh, eighty-three percent. He's already at kill percent. That was that was fantastic. That dare to up air. That dare does not auto cancel too. So that was a great conver conversion from him. Kyle's really got to get something going as far as offense here. He's just throwing out random smashes. That is not going to cut it at all against Dan. Um, and yeah, Dan is just really, really doing well this match so far. He's got to close out the stock. Um, I'm probably expecting something like a, like a forward smash or a, or a down smash. But um, I'm not, I'm not going to count SK out of this yet. 131% with Rage. Fox will be able to make up that percent pretty quickly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, oh, and there's that down smash almost getting uh, SK. He's going to go ahead and, and actually he regrabs the ledge right there. Dan does not take advantage. Uh, no invincibility frames on the second regrab. So SK will be able to make it back to the stage. And it's not looking too bad for, for, for Kyle now. Uh, he's got Dan up to about 77%. Oh, that beautiful pivot side B and the taunt from Dan. He's going to go ahead and take that stock and uh, he's got a decent lead here. He's got to build up a, a pretty good amount of percent here on Kyle. That was a, that was a beautiful jab, 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 falling back air. Uh, Kyle gaining a bit of momentum now in this match. Dan's really got to assert, reassert his dominance here. He's got to main, maintain stage control too. No, that very hard read. Um, oh my God. Okay, and Kyle is just is just going on tilt here, falling in, falling into charge down smashes, and uh, this is not like him at all. He, I can tell he is a bit flustered. Um, not sure what the matchup is is like between Fox and Falcon, but I I imagine it is in Fox's favor. Oh, that, that second up air, he needed to get it. He does get it on the second try, and he's going to go ahead and taunt anyways. Yeah, 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 come up. Come up on the boot. All right, guys, I am going to be joined uh, very shortly by the one and only uh, foe Freddy Omar Williams, uh, Mr. Foe Army, Mr. Mr. Ness on the mic in a second. Uh, so you foe Army boys, get, get ready. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, absolutely. All right. Uh, yep, yep. What's going on? The legendary ATK. He, here's What's my boy. On, so, uh, yeah. Right, so, so, what's going on in this so match? So, we're, we're in this match. Um, Danzaman actually putting up a really good fight against Kyle. He's giving him a run for his money, making really strong reads, and he's just he's on the offensive here. Kyle's really on the defensive. He's he's getting pushed back a lot. He's getting knocked off the stage too much, and he can't really get any any kind of offense going against oh, him. Oh, wow. I just looked at the percent. Yeah. And SK92 actually being... Uh, what rank is he on the PR? Isn't he, like, top five? He is fifth. He's he, is, he is currently fifth on the PR. He is. Uh, oh, my God. That was he's a doing great. some really nasty mix-ups right now. He though. is, but, like, but Dan is... Oh, no. Oh, no, Fox he's, is going to make He's going to get the angle back. Okay, good. Yeah, Fox is going to make that back. I really like how um, in Smash 4 they brought back the melee ledges where there's not really a lip that you can get caught under like Brawl. It's You can go straight up on a curve and then just slide up the side of the stage. I think that's really cool. Yeah, I know what you mean. I haven't seen too many people get caught by that lip, so pretty good for people with very linear Ooh, recoveries. That's gonna the back throw is going to kill him. Yeah, I know. Fox mains and people with uh, linear recoveries are really happy about that, like especially Mario's. Oh, my God. So uh, at 161%, the back throw going to take it. And uh, Dan is up a game on Kyle. So what's the current set count? Uh, current set count right now is 1-0 one, uh, one -oh Dan. 1-0 oh Dan. Oh, my God. Dan's the man. Dan is the man. He, he's literally a rising superstar. Like, he came out of nowhere. I remember back when he used to main Link back in the 3DS, and he just beat Lycan in, our last, uh, in the last match that he was in. 
uh, getting up here. And what rank is Lycan? Is he like third? Lycan is, yeah, he's. Uh, oh yeah, he's third. He's third he's, right he's now. He's either second or no, no. I think he's, he's second. He's second. Yeah, he's second. He knows, on he knows, the he knows third. So he took. Oh my he took God. that. He he. Well, he knocked Lycan into losers, guys. And Dan's now the man is. He's sweet. on a mission. He's about to knock, to yeah, knock he number means five. He means business right now. He is in it to win it. And uh, what stage are we going to? Because before we saw. Um, uh, I thought I saw. I know it has Ridley on it. Yeah, freaking Orpheum. Oh, no, no, no. That's the others. That's the others. That no, no, no. That's Brawl. Yeah, that's Brawl. That's um. the time. Battle sphere. Battle sphere. Battle sphere. Yeah, I don't go. I don't go to the full stages. I'm completely relying on you. <laughs> All right, let's do this. So we're going Captain Falcon Fox. So this is going to be much of the same matchup that you saw before, but this time a little bit of a change of scenery. Looks like we're going to be playing this on Halberd. Yeah, now I can see why Kyle went ahead and chose the stage. Uh, it's got a low ceiling. Pretty good for Fox. He's got mostly vertical KOs. Right. Moves. Mm -hmm. and, Especially uh, the up smash and the up air. Like, those are really big things. And with the low ceiling of Halberd, I really feel like this is a really good counter pick. And I'm actually very surprised that Dan's the Man didn't ban it. Yeah, uh, he might have. He might have banned uh, Delfino. Is another stage Kyle really likes to go to. Another low ceiling stage, um, but no, not not this one. Yeah, I Ooh. feel like I feel like Dan's the man might have been a little confident coming into this match as well because Captain Falcon does have a lot of aerial strings that do end up killing vertically. Absolutely. So honestly, this low ceiling works out for both of them, but it's just whoever knows how to take advantage of it better will end up taking this match. Right now, it's actually uh, looking very even right now. SK92 with a slight upper hand, but um, it looks like it's changing quite drastically. Yeah, um, I'm waiting for them to get on onto the actual uh, Meta Knight ship itself to see how they're going to deal with uh, with the stage hazards. Right, onto a solid platform, one that you will not be able to go under. Now, neither of these characters really benefit too greatly on the fact that you can actually up B straight through the stage because it's not solid. You can't fastball through it, but you can go through it from underneath. Considering both of these characters are fast fallers too, they probably can't utilize it that well, but the low ceiling is, is what yeah, I'm Yeah, I think is, that was the reason yeah. why this uh, stage was originally chosen, cho bleh, chosen, was just because of that low ceiling. And right here, Ooh, oh my god, that, that was an amazing punch. Air. Now, one thing with SK92, he's always had a flashy play style since, since Melee. Like, he's Absolutely. always just been a king, Sky9. But this guy, uh, bringing that flashiness back, um, Dan's the man was able to read his side B. Because that's one thing that Ooh. SK does like to do a lot. He definitely does like, you just saw right there, getting punished once again. Dan's the man with the reads, just getting all those side Bs, almost getting that one. But uh, looks like SK is definitely starting to adapt. But and, not and, without and taking Kyle, a lot of damage. And Kyle's been, honestly, he's he's been ha hanging on to those side Bs so, so often for his recovery. He hasn't been really changing it up, and he's got punished every single time with either a smash Ooh, or some kind of... Ooh, beautiful. That up smash right is, underneath him. Well, that's why he chose the stage, but I mean, 129% he was probably going to kill anyways. So, right. So, Kyle evening it up a bit. 49%, not too bad on him. Yeah, 49%. Uh, that's honestly not too bad of a disadvantage, but you got to keep in mind that Dan's the man has all the momentum in the galaxy right now. Absolutely. Oh, ooh, and the sage is on his side. Yeah, too, yeah. The, la so. the laser in front of Fox's face does not help. Yeah, that definitely does not help with his uh, approach right now. And Dan's the man has just been a monster at putting on the pressure. Like, oh my, oh my god. That was an accidental you, read. Yeah, I it was. Know that it, was it, oh my god. And that, that that's just really killed. Nice. Wow. That, that, that up there. That just killed. That, Holy now, crap. Now, okay. Everybody knows that up air is a damage racking move. That was not supposed to Dan's kill like 130. Dan's the man was just popping off right yeah, there. He, he, he's, oh my god. He's going, he's going nuts right now and Kyle is, he is not happy at all with that performance. That was not supposed to kill him. He was, at, he was barely 100% and he managed to kill him. Was he at rage? I think Captain Falcon is at a really high rage mode. No, no, no. remember he just, he had just taken that stock off of Dan. He, was, he wasn't that high at all. He was maybe, oh, maybe around wow. 40s and he well, managed to kill him with that up air. He, now he was about middle of the stage. Uh -huh. Close to the ceiling, but but that shouldn't have killed him. Yeah. With any kind of good DI, that, that should not have killed the him. The funny thing is, is that although Fox is a, uh, a fast faller, he's actually extremely lightweight. So you don't want to be fooled by how fall, uh, fast he falls and how much you can combo him like he's a heavyweight. He dies incredibly early. Absolutely. Although I don't think anyone was expecting that no, to kill no, him. That but, was... but again, that's just Halbert's low ceiling property. It's ridiculous. Now, in that case, it ended up working to, to Dan's advantage. That 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 was just crazy. Uh, I really have to give it to Dan, though. Um, Dude, I'm telling you, man, Dan has been he's on, on a fire. he's on an absolute tear. Uh, he's I don't think he's ever played this consistent before. No, like he beat second on the PR, and he just beat fifth on the PR as well. Like he's taking names, and honestly, I might be afraid for my title right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> wish me luck 